We literally weave. One row goes under the other, goes under the other, goes under the other. So it's a bit like a giant loom, a loom which is activated by gravity. This sort of has this kind of dynamic, rotational kind of relationship to the architecture. What we're, we're using is the idea of a unit. Every unit is a string, but every string is different. And when those strings are combined and assembled in the right relationship, you create a whole, which is much greater than the sum of the individual strings. We, we were able to impose image onto this array of strings and the image that we chose to impose was the a kind of an abstract graphic of the cornice line a Baroque dome in uh, Germany, the Steinhausen church. It's the 2D image but it's all about deep space, it's, it's, it's painted and and this, I mean, I think kind of functions almost like a figure yeah. in space because from certain angles you can see it as a, as a circle. It works in the way that the, the, the Baroque kind of was working, which was the kind of a collapse of architectural space with ornament, with painting. And in this case, we're taking kind of painting and we're giving it a kind of three-dimensionality. You can put a brush stroke there and you can put a color, swatch of color there and you can start to, you can start to do it in three dimensions. When we started, we did it by hand, and the, the color aspect wasn't uh, as possible in a way of doing something like this by hand because it becomes really labor intensive. So we, in essence, made our own machine. We're, we're talking about a kind of a printing process onto the individual strings. We have also kind of uh, developed a software that uh, allows us to kind of visualize these things and to, from the software, get real data for, putting these for building these things. 218A, 275B. To contend with that amount of information, in this case 1900 different strings, we have to create means of cataloging and indexing and controlling that information and ensuring that the project is assembled in the, in the proper order. Go for it. You first start with one string and you don't see anything. Then you put two or three or four and like, it, they just can, they kind of, you know, just develop like a photograph. It's just, you, you see more and more and more and more every day and it's always kind of interesting. These are like fulfilling this desire to make these kind of little buildings, these kind of little moments of architecture yeah. th that are grafted onto existing architecture, existing buildings, and exist for a, a limited period of time. In the end, we'd like it to be about kind of a, an experience and the way that people kind of relate to it and the way that people en engage it. It's something that's fully integrated with the building itself that arises out of analysis and examination of the architecture.